Abby Dubel, and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service here in Midland, Texas. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about fire weather. Now, some of you may be wondering, we're talking about monsoon awareness. Why are we talking about fire weather? Well, let's find out. Fire weather is basically the study of three elements coming into play. One is topography. So are we looking at regions with more flat or rolling plains? Or are we looking at an area with mountains and valleys? Second, how dry is the vegetation? Things like grass, bushes, and trees? And third, you guessed it, what's the weather like? For wildfires to start, we need hot, dry, and windy days. This helps us determine when, where, or even if a wildfire will start. How will it behave? Will it move, or grow, or even die out? And what are the conditions for firefighters to safely extinguish them? Generally, there are about two ways a wildfire can start. One is by what you're watching, human-related activity. This video shows just some of the ways people can be responsible for preventing wildfires. They include parking away from grassy areas, refraining from outdoor burning days, when weather conditions are favorable for wildfires to start. Fully putting out campfires and cooling hot ashes. Pulling up those chains when you're doing any hauling. And cooling hot coals. Remember what Smokey the Bear says? Only you can prevent wildfires. While Smokey is right, people are not the only ones that can cause wildfires. We'll see the second way in just a little bit. Lightning in thunderstorms can also be a problem. We call them dry because the air is really dry, so the rain evaporates before it even reaches the ground. These storms can be very dangerous to firefighters because of the threat of lightning, and gusty winds can fan flames, making it very difficult to put wildfires out. Still wondering what monsoon season has to do with wildfires? The time between when fire season ends and monsoon season starts is generally the time when wildfires will occur most often. Studies have shown that the peak of wildfire activity is around the first two weeks of July for three reasons. First, increased human activity. It's summer, time to go on vacation and beat the heat. It's usually the hottest and driest part of the summer, and the monsoon season brings storms which will also then bring dry lightning. Well, who uses this information? Here's just a list of a few people who use this information. These include first responders and emergency management, city and state officials, national parks, national and local media, who are ultimately trying to help and protect you. You can also use this information to help in the effort to avoid starting wildfires. So now you have a good understanding of what fire weather is and how wildfires start. Obviously, we can't stop lightning from starting them, so here's what you can do once a wildfire is taking place. Thanks for letting me hang out with you guys today. If you need any more information or you have any more questions, here's a great list of people who would be able to help you out. Thanks for watching!